Hi, me again. And this time we're going to find out how much the BBC pays for its TV shows. Now I've got the idea for this video one evening. Sitting on Netflix as I often do, I thought I'd watch one of my favourite TV series of all time. I'm Alan Partridge. And in one of the episodes, Alan said this. Well, if you're, you're familiar with BBC commissioning policy, they, they, they are obliged to contract out a certain percentage of their programmes to, to uh, independent programme makers. And are they, they're not even listening, are they? So is that true? I wanted to find out. I knew Channel 4 had to buy out all their TV shows, but I thought good old auntie made most of hers, didn't she? So I started digging about, and this is what I managed to find out. Now, I just so happened to have a mate who had a temporary contract working in IT, but for a TV production company, and he managed to get me a link to this internal BBC document. Now this is a document for an open tender for a rather popular BBC show called Country File. I'm sure you all heard of it. Now I thought BBC made Country File themselves. If you go to the BBC Studios website, it does say they produce Country File. So I don't know, but this document was dated 2018. So I would imagine the process had been completed and the Country File that you watch now is made by a third party production company and the BBC buy it from them. So what I'll do is I'll put a link to the full tender document below. It's quite an interesting read if you like that sort of thing. So it might be worth a look and it's not often you get to see an internal BBC document, is it? The part of the document I found the most interesting was um, what the BBC would pay the production company for the show. It's their tariff FL1. That doesn't mean anything to me. I'm sure it doesn't mean anything to you, but I needed to know. So after a lot of work and a lot of searching and quite a few phone calls, I managed to score the complete tariff document telling us how much the BBC pay for all their TV shows. Okay, right. Let's start at the top of the document for comedy shows. For full BBC network quality shows, they will pay between 160 to 700,000 pounds per hour of show for the quality stuff. As you can see, it's less if it's regional shows and there's also three levels of quality that they grade it on. Moving on to entertainment. Entertainment shows are bought in from 20,000 to 750,000 pounds per hour. As you can see, there's three quality ranges again. So if you can come up with a good new Saturday evening quiz show, you're gonna be eligible for the top value of that one, maybe. Now drama is where the BBC really spends some wedge. They'll pay up to a million quid an hour for the top drama series, and they'll pay you about 50,000 an hour for those crappy daytime drama soap things. Okay, we're on to the factual tariff, and this is what brought us on this journey and brought us here. So we're gonna finally find out what the FL1 tariff means. So the FL1 tariff states, typical high volume domestic features or documentary series for early evening on BBC One or Two. Also covers most BBC Four commissions, including presenter and archive led programs. And for that, you can charge Auntie between 40 and 125,000 pound per hour for your production. But I think Country File's an hour long, isn't it? So for each episode of Country File, the BBC are paying somewhere between 40 to 125,000 pounds to buy that show to put on TV. Does that seem about right to you? I've never watched it, so what do you think? Also in the factual section, you'll find the top end factual shows that they have. They're prepared to pay up to half a million quid per hour for these shows. Now, one of the big surprises for me on this document was how much the BBC are prepared to pay for children's shows. Take a look at this. For the top end CBBC dramas, the BBC will pay up to £550,000. That's more than they pay for the top whack factual stuff. And I was genuinely surprised by that. So what do you think about the prices the BBC pay for these shows? Do you think it's about right? Do you think it's a bit much? Do you think they could do better with your money? Or do you think they should make everything themselves? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in another video again soon. Thank you for watching.